Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ugh! I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Lucas, you're on fire again! <clears throat> See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. It's not like we have directions about how all this works. So of course, there's going to be some trial and error. Error and error and error and error. Petra. Where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than fire world. And what if there aren't smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... another psycho pumpkin mansion. Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes, whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. 
everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. For that redstone hunch, I don't see any. But there's got to be some somewhere. Yeah, I feel like every world's got to have redstone. Hang on, let me see here. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. Yeah, it's not so easy making decisions for the group, is it? You don't have to make me feel worse about it, Jesse. Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. Well, we're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? People here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh! Get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look. See what we can find out. Works for me. <laughs> yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie. Uh, I could actually use a hand. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Petra. I've got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Ah! <laughs> that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? Nuh uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because. That would be really, really inconvenient. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Maybe they're just peaceful. I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so... blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? In my head! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. They're 
are leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on. I'm really starting to think someone is behind all this, and I intend to find out who. We should follow them. See where they go. So, let's get moving. people anywhere. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Come on, guys. Where there are buildings, there must be people. Let's find them and see if they can explain what's going on. And maybe they'll know where the exit portal is, too. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I, I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Ooh, I want to do it. Oh, well... If you insist. <gasps> uh. <sighs> no! It shocked me. Are you okay? Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? Nope. Nothing for me either. Hmm. Not exactly the friendly type, is he? No, I guess not. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm going to go talk to... Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. How's it going, chickens? Uh-huh. That's not... Wow. Even chickens have those redstone things in their head, and it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why... Hey, Petra. How's it going over here? Fine, I guess. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm going to keep checking this place out. See ya. Hey, Jesse. Hey, um, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. I'm going to keep checking this place out. See ya. Their well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Hi there. Um, hello? My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who the... what? Huh? Was he still unfriendly? Sounded like he might have startled you. We heard quite the... well, not even a scream. More of a... yelp! We need to leave. 
Now. What? But why? No, I'm afraid I must agree with Jesse. There's something wrong here, and I'd like to find our exit portal as soon as possible. Uh. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on. Whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. <clears throat> uh, hi. Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Whoa, hey, would you chill out already? You're freaking me out. You're freaking out? How do you think I'm doing right now? Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But, but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside? Okay, out with it. What's going on with these people? I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people, I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five. Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. Just act like they do. Blend uh, in. How? Try to look vacant. It's not working. Uh, make the sound e You are not from this place. Hey, weirdos, back off. You will not command Pama. That is silly. Yeah, I don't think they like that. A decision has been made. Hama <clears throat> has questions. Ah. You will come to Hama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to keep resisting them? Because I don't think they like that. All right, gang. Let's try not to hurt anybody too badly. Ouch! Watch it! <gasps> you will be made useful! What? What happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. What is. What? Is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us. But maybe it can even be... So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated, I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. 
processing information. It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time. I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. We walked here. Walked? Elaborate, please. It's, um, when you use your feet to take you someplace? You are attempting to be cute. Attempt failed. So far your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. No, 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 wait! Palma! I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just please don't hurt her. I am looking forward to hearing this new information. Please do not lie. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? Big mistake, Palma. I'm not going down without a fight. It's like you told Petra. Someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their heads! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had? A killer mansion. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. You think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. I think we should tell Palma a riddle. The trickiest one we can think of. Oh, you've met so many people. Yeah, so many just ask Palma something really so confusing, get it all busy, busy, and then run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. 
a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Hey, Palma, what I'm saying is a lie. <laughs> but if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying, which means that you are being truthful. It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, uh, It worked! Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. I'm a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status. On hold. Yes, my creator, have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two, this way. I'm sensing some history here. Come on, we need to... An excellent idea. Guys, better stick with me, though. Wow, she is amazing. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> oh, what? A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them, but I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen, they're also... We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route, throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <clears throat> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What the... She is... intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's... weird. strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Huh. That cactus isn't in... <gasps> Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! You've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water. We can aim 
for that. Showing everything it's got at us. Just one after the other! You'd think that since Palma is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter. But they're just sliding straight toward their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself! Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water! Look at that! It's back to being just a normal zombie! Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. <sighs> the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the- Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we've got a left. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sandblocks up there. One cave in coming up. It works. Should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palma's completely ruined the word useful for me now. I'll go anywhere, do anything, and work with anyone as long as it helps Petra and Lucas. You're a good friend, Jesse. I must say, that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. Uh, I... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Lawn guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah. And this... Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Yeah, that one's my bad. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. I'll be sure to use that sorry for protection when that crazy computer is knocking on my door. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No. Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Have you been spying on us or something? No, I just know where the portal network spits people out, and I've never seen you before, so logic. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Well, awesome. Can you help us get home and out of this whole mess with Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, 
Palma. What is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just going to leave my friends chipped up, though, right? We can still help them. I do think I can help you, with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See, I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. Get out of their head, Mama. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please! I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please! You have to fight it! There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking is over. <laughs> Lucas?
Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache. But I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? Harper was actually the one who built Palma. So she's the only one who can help us destroy it before it totally takes over. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Hey, think about how long she's been alone. Nothing but this lab and mindless Hama people for company. I'd be a little odd too. Let's cut her a break, okay? I'd say that's a reasonable request. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. weird. Here you go, Harry. Nice! Looks like I'm on the right track. They look so happy. Redstone Heart by Soren. Whoa, another one. Either that name is a coincidence or wow. So, what do you think of Harper's? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here. I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. Petra, you're one of my best friends. Of course I was gonna rescue you. And I'm appreciative, believe me. 
I just really hope we get back to Lucas soon. Any thoughts? We should keep looking, Jesse. If what you said is true, we don't have a lot of time. These might come in handy. Awesome! Redstone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. something what are you seeing is Palma there I'm not in the lab I'm outside what I'm I'm at the base of a giant mesa from the looks of it's like some sort of mob viewers what a preposterous name I love it wow I wish you guys could see how cool this is so cool Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. It really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you've freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. I don't like sand. Stuff gets... Every hmm. Let's see what I can craft. Enough of these and I can build my way back up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down, too. These should do the trick. Sorry to crap and run, but I'm afraid I need to get... The signal! It blooped out for a second. 
Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Let Harper and Lucas go, Pama. But, Jesse, I am so happy to have them. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. So, we're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? My oh. summer team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. <laughs> Skeleton now. Ugh, poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palm is still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing reinitiated. Trace subroutine reinitiated. Buddy, but better you my creator I am so glad you are here oh no Harper please you are my creator please join me so we may maximize usefulness nothing doing Palma I built you to help people not use them just stop this stop trying to make everything useful that is my job that is why you made me once I download your knowledge we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. No sign of Luke. Drone sequencing reinitiated. Trace subroutine reinitiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance here not useful. Trace subroutine running. Your game is over, Palma. Oh no. Time to move. on this comma. So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. Never fear. Jesse's here, and I'm going to rescue him. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Quick, follow me. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to be trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central Core! You and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper, you must remove the redstone heart. 
Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'll be back to rescue you and take care, I promise. Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that pen set useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I think, I think she's already been shipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us, and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were... Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core, and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them. Redstone spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires, or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to... Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick hide. Where is the entrance to this Palma core, anyway? On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything we can use? Hmm, sticks. Not sure how they're going to help us, though. These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of invisibility. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. I always love a good button. I can use this button to activate the redstone dust. But what can I connect it to? We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you gonna lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless, but still. Two very good possibilities. I'm gonna go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. Huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse.